Hello, and welcome to Brinks Home Security. During the next 15 minutes, you will learn how to use the basic functions of the Brinks security system. It's very important that everyone in your home who will be using the system watch this video. It will answer most of your questions about how the system works. We will show you how to avoid costly false alarms. We'll also discuss the different parts of the alarm equipment and how to operate the alarm system along with some of its options. For more detailed information, we have provided you with an easy to read user's manual. You may follow along in your user's manual starting on page five. But before we begin, I would like to remind you of two things. First, if you need emergency assistance, never hesitate to call 911 or the emergency number in your area. And secondly, if an alarm does sound in your home, don't call Brinks. You see, calling Brinks may interfere with the monitoring center's response to your alarm. So cancel the alarm or wait for a Brinks operator to call you. A false alarm occurs any time the alarm system is tripped and there is not an actual emergency. Avoiding false alarms is critical to good monitoring service and ensuring that your local police, fire, and medical agencies are responding to real emergencies. To help avoid false alarms, make sure everyone in your home knows how to use the alarm system, a valid three-digit code, and your code word. Be sure to keep your master code confidential so you do not compromise the security of the Brink system. Housekeepers, relatives, neighbors, babysitters, realtors, and others needing access to your home can use auxiliary codes, but we'll discuss auxiliary codes a little later. Cancel all accidental alarms by entering your three-digit code, then pressing the cancel key. You can also cancel accidental alarms in reverse by pressing the cancel key first, then entering your three-digit code. Test the system each month to help ensure that it is working properly. We will explain how to test the system later in the video. You may contact Brinks Customer Service for assistance at 1-800-445-0872. Customer service is available 24 hours a day, seven days a week. If you experience any unexplained false alarms, immediately contact Brinks Customer Service. Many times the calls can be determined over the phone, but sometimes a service call is required to adjust a sensor or correct a system problem. Excessive smoke or dust can cause false alarms from smoke detectors. So if you are going to fumigate your home or do any other work which will create dust or smoke, completely cover all smoke detectors. And don't forget to uncover these components when you are finished. If you need assistance with this, please call Brinks Customer Service at 1-800-445-0872. If you know what device is causing false alarms, you can turn that particular device off and use the rest of the system until the device can be repaired. Please refer to the bypass section of your user's manual on page 15 and promptly notify Brinks Customer Service for further assistance. If you get an indoor pet after the system has been installed, contact Brinks Customer Service. A service call may be needed to adjust the motion detector to give your pet more room to move through protected areas without causing an alarm. Finally, the motion detector can detect movement of balloons, plants, curtains, and other decorations. Be sure air currents do not cause movement of these items in the area protected by the motion detector. The Brinks Home Security System is made up of several parts. The brain of the system is the master control panel. It's installed out of sight, usually in an isolated closet, and communicates with the Brinks Monitoring Center over your phone line. You also have a digital keypad where you operate the system's many functions, door and window sensors, a motion detector, an indoor siren which sounds when there is an alarm, a power transformer which connects the alarm system to the electricity in your home, an RJ block and dialer cable connection which connects the system to your telephone line and a yard sign and window decals to warn that your home is protected by Brinks. Additionally, you may have optional equipment and features such as smoke and heat detectors, glass break detectors, window screens, a remote panic button, a dress code, and the line cut feature. For your convenience, 
A pop-up zone card is provided to tell you which zone numbers apply to the different alarm sensors. The display window shows the system status and gives other information and instructions. The on indicator light flashes during the delay periods and is steady when the delay periods are not in effect. The speaker is for audible beeps and tones. You have three emergency panic buttons for fire, police, and medical emergencies. These buttons are always on and will cause an alarm when pressed. The 10 key input buttons are used when entering codes. The cancel button is used to cancel accidental alarms and other keypad functions. The options button gives you access to various features of the system. The instant button removes the entry exit delay periods from all designated delay doors. The motion off button turns off the motion detector and the on button arms the brink system. Now that you're familiar with the components of the system, let's look at how simply they operate. First, the basics. How to turn the system on and off. To turn the system on, ensure that all windows and doors are closed. There is no motion in the area protected by the motion detector. And the display window on the keypad shows ready. If the display window does not show ready, refer to page 11 of your user's manual. Press the on button. The red on indicator light will begin to flash showing that the system is on. There is an 80 second delay period to give you time to exit your home. Hello. Hi, Paula. I was just about to leave. Let me turn off my alarm system. Hold if on. you're unable to exit before the delay period expires and the red on indicator light stops flashing, you must turn the system off and start over. If you exit and need to immediately re-enter, turn the system off even if the exit delay time has not yet expired. When entering your home, you must enter through a designated delay door to avoid an instant alarm. The keypad will sound a warning tone to remind you to turn the system off. Simply enter your three-digit code. If you make a mistake, just re-enter your code slowly and firmly. If you accidentally set off the alarm and wish to cancel it, enter your three-digit code, then immediately press the cancel button. Don't forget, you can cancel an alarm in reverse by pressing the cancel button first, then entering your code. When the cancel signal is received at the Brinks Monitoring Center, you will hear a short beep from the keypad, and the display window will flash the trip zone number and the words alarm cancel to confirm the alarm cancellation. Remember, if you cancel an alarm in this manner, a Brinks operator will not call you. If you do not hear the confirmation tone and see the words alarm canceled, you must wait for a Brinks operator to call. Do not call Brinks. Calling Brinks may tie up your phone line, resulting in Brinks notifying an emergency agency. When the Brinks operator calls, be prepared to give the exact code word you selected. It's extremely important that you cancel accidental alarms to avoid unnecessary dispatches of emergency personnel. If there has been an alarm trip in your absence, the siren will have most likely reset before you return home. When you turn the system off, the keypad will beep and the display window will flash the tripped zone number or numbers and the words alarm memory. We'll discuss reviewing alarm memory later. If at any time there is an actual emergency, do not turn the system off. Until the system has finished sending the alarm message to the Brinks Monitoring Center, you will not be able to use your telephone. After the alarm message has been sent, do not use the telephone unless you are calling an emergency agency. When the Brinks operator calls, explain the emergency, and we will call emergency assistance for you. If you do not answer the phone, we'll call the appropriate agency. Now that we've covered the basics, Let's move on to some of the system's additional features. You may choose to turn the system on using features other than the normal operating mode. When you would like to have the system on and still be able to move freely through your home, you can turn the system on with the motion detector off. To do this, press on, then motion off. The display window will show on, motion off, and the red on indicator light will start flashing. When the exit delay period expires, the on indicator light will stop flashing. 
You may also turn the system on and eliminate the delay time on your designated entry exit doors. When the system is armed in this manner, the alarm will sound immediately if a protected door or window is opened or movement occurs in an area protected by the motion detector. This is a good feature to use when everyone in your home is going to bed for the night. To use this feature, press on, then instant. The display window will show all on instant and you will get a steady on indicator light. Now don't forget that the motion detector will cause an instant alarm if you walk in its protected area. You may combine these two features by turning the system on with the motion detector off and the delay doors instant. Simply press on, motion off, then instant and the display window will show on, instant, motion off and a steady on indicator light will come on. Remember this feature should be used only when you will not be leaving your home since your doors will not have any delay periods. If you open any protected door the alarm will instantly trip and the siren will sound. If you accidentally do this you should cancel the alarm immediately. You may access additional system features by using the Options button. The five options controlled by this button are Bypass, Door Chime, Auxiliary Codes, Alarm Memory, and Test. The Bypass option may be used to turn off a trouble zone in the system or a specific zone of your choice. When a zone is bypassed, the system ignores that zone. Zone information is in the pop-up zone card located at the top of the keypad. To use the Bypass option, Press the Options button until the display window shows Bypass Enter Zone Number. Enter the zone number you wish to bypass. The display window will flash the Bypass Zone Number, then show Ready Bypass. If you accidentally bypass the wrong zone, you may cancel the Bypass feature by pressing the Cancel button before turning the system on. Once the system is turned on, the Bypass feature will be automatically canceled when the system is turned off with your three-digit code. The door chime option is used when the system is turned off, but you want to know if a protected door or window is opened. This is a good feature to use when there are small children in your house and you want to know if they open a door or window. To use the door chime option, press the options button until the display window shows door chime. Enter your three digit code to turn this option on. To turn the door chime option off, simply press cancel. The door chime mode is automatically canceled when the system is turned on. The auxiliary code option allows you to program up to six extra codes which can be used to turn the system on and off. Auxiliary codes are commonly used for babysitters, housekeepers, realtors, house guests, or anyone who needs temporary access to your house but should not have your master code. An auxiliary code can be used to access all system options except adding and deleting auxiliary codes. To add an auxiliary code, Press the Options button until the display window shows Auxiliary Codes. Enter Master Code. Then enter your three-digit master code. The display window will show Enter 1-6, meaning that you can program up to six auxiliary codes. Press 1 to identify the first auxiliary code you are programming. The next code would be 2, and so on up to 6. When the display window shows Enter New Code, enter any three-digit code of your choice. The keypad will beep when the new auxiliary code is accepted. To test the new code, turn the system on, then try to use the new code to turn the system off. To delete or change an auxiliary code, press the Options button until the display window shows Auxiliary Codes. Enter Master Code. Enter your three-digit master code. The display window will then show Enter 1-6. Enter the single-digit number of the auxiliary code you wish to change or delete. The display window will now show Enter New Code. You may change the auxiliary code by entering a new three-digit code or delete the existing auxiliary code by pressing the Cancel button. The keypad will give you a confirmation beep. You can make sure that you deleted the correct auxiliary code by turning the system on, then trying to turn the system off using the auxiliary code you just deleted. The Alarm Memory option is used to view the last alarm or alarms that occurred. If there was an alarm in your absence, the alarm memory will tell you which zones were tripped. Press the Options button until the display window shows Alarm Memory, Enter Code. Enter your three-digit code. 
The zone number or numbers of any alarms in memory will flash in the display window. Once all zones in alarm memory have been displayed, the alarm display will return to normal. The test option is used to send a test signal to the Brinks Monitoring Center to help ensure the system is able to communicate with Brinks. Your protective service agreement requires that you test the system each month. Press the Options button until the display window shows Test, Enter Code. Enter your three-digit code. When a valid code is entered, a silent test signal is transmitted to Brinks. Once the test signal is received at the Brinks Monitoring Center, the keypad will give you a confirmation tone and the siren will sound a short blast. Now this only tests the communication part of the system. If you do not receive the confirmation tone and the blast from the siren, please call Brinks Customer Service at 1-800-445-0872. To test the other parts of the security system, please refer to the section entitled Testing the Brinks System on page 17 in your user's manual. Under certain circumstances, the alarm display may show a trouble message indicating that the system is not in a normal condition. For further explanation of various trouble messages, please refer to the section entitled Trouble Messages on page 20 in your user's manual. We're so glad you've chosen Brinks Home Security and we hope this video has been helpful to you in learning the Brinks system. You may need to watch it more than once to fully understand all the discussed features. But if you have any questions regarding the Brinks system or your service, please call Brinks Customer Service toll-free at 1-800-445-0872. Customer service is available 24 hours a day, 7 days a week. Again, thank you for choosing Brinks Home Security.